Hey there, Wondering Watchers. I'm Sony Golden for The Vibe is Golden. Welcome to this edition of Tabloid Tarot, which involves celebrity stories that might hit the tabloids next and old scandals that still cause a stir. In today's viewer-requested Tabloid Tarot, we're taking a peek at an action star who tends to be quiet about his personal life. We are tossing Tom Cruise back into the spotlight to be Tabloid Tarot. So let's see what message we have for Tom's future and see how he's aligning with his higher purpose. Okay, so we have stop. It also says break, pause, stagnation. We have this anguish card, gifts, fall, surrender. Okay, so these cards kind of indicate some kind of um, upsetting times for Tom. This anguish card kind of indicates that there is uh, anger and frustration um, because of you know some event happening going to happen in his life where really he feels um, he feels like inner conflict um, things kind of working against him you have this stop card uh, it also says uh, stagnation um, pause, break, and then fall. So it could be that, you know, his career, there's um, some type of something that happens in his career where there is a, a downturn. It also could be like this fall is something literal since he does his own stunts um, where, you know, he could injure himself. The surrender card kind of indicates needing to um, not really struggle against things and maybe this anguish is kind of um he has to learn to accept something that's like really frustrating to him and then you have this gifts card which i think is interesting um be interesting to see how some you know gifts are going to show up in the spread or concepts of giving like give and take um but these cards don't look amazing for him it could be like there are some um, downturn in his life could end up being um, like a blessing in disguise with those gifts. So actually, I'm going to go ahead. I started shuffling these already, but I'm going to go ahead. I'll do this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, see how he is aligning with his higher purpose. So right now, let's see how he's feeling, you know, if he feels connected or not to his higher purpose. We have here the hermit. In terms of Tom's spiritual journey, we have here the four of wands, like what he offers his community and family. We have here the sun and what he offers the world, the planet, we have here the moon. Interesting. Um, let me see the bottom of the deck, influencing energy. We have this temperance card. So, aside from this uh, Four of Wands, a lot of major arcana cards here for Tom. So, this is an energy of learning, of patience, healing, and really um, kind of taking aspects of the past and blending it with your present to create the future that you want so here how he's like connecting currently to his life purpose we have the hermit so it could be that he is really um spending a lot of time um on his own really using his life experience um this is making me think of the fact that he is a scientologist that he is constantly um supporting uh scientology and 
maybe he is going to take some time to do a new course or study for Scientology, but it seems like he feels um, that people might not understand him. Um, he needs to kind of do his own thing, go on his own journey, um, and obtain knowledge that he feels Scientology can provide to him. That's kind of the sense I get from that. I'm going to go ahead and clarify that hermit card. We have here the magician. I do believe that he sees Scientology as, um, or you know, the knowledge that he's gained from Scientology is really helping him to identify his skills and talents and um, kind of making him who he is. So I, I do feel like he, he maybe feel withdrawn from society, but the knowledge that he has has really allowed him to do the things that he's wanted to do in life, um, to get the success he wants, to move past certain fears that may have, um, you know, made him not reach the goals, his career goals. So in terms of what he is here to master in his spiritual journey, we have the four of wands. It's interesting. He's got three failed marriages and supposedly doesn't talk to his his 17 year old daughter i think she's 17 um, about to go off to college but you have the four of wands here which is you know a sense of a happy home um so it could be like that's what he's been trying to do he's been trying to learn that uh in this you know in this lifetime how to be happy how to kind of celebrate his wins with someone that he loves and kind of um have a sense of freedom and stability at the same time. I'm gonna clarify the four of wands. We have here the 10 of wands. So it's a sense of like, even though that's his spiritual journey, it's something that maybe is difficult for him. Um, he's maybe puts way too much on his plate, uh, puts too much, like prioritizes other things too much in, to, to get that. And he maybe he needs to learn how to kind of, um, see what's important and how to kind of um, prioritize that connection um, with family and home and stability. But here, what he offers his community and his you know loved ones, his family, is the son, which is interesting because, like I said, he supposedly doesn't talk to his daughter, three failed marriages. Um, he does have his um, adopted children um, that I believe that he still is close to. I see pictures of him and his uh, his son at like basketball games. So here, this is a concept of like joy and enlightenment and happiness. So I feel like it also begs the question, since this is about community, um, whether his community and his family are his adopted family, his blood relatives, or is it like his fellow Scientologists? So let's clarify the sun. We have here the emperor. So this is like um, kind of a concept of um, masculine energy of power and authority. It could be a father and son relationship um, that he's you know here to offer that insight and um, happiness in that relationship with his um, adopted son. But also it's making me think of the power play and the strategizing um, reflected in this card of the emperor and this concept of enlightenment to me it goes back to this Scientology where the hermit is being enlightened um, by uh, their introspect introspection and knowledge that they can bring to others and the knowledge allowing um, Tom to really um, manifest what he wants in his life and his career and like sharing that knowledge with Scientologists in terms of what he's here to offer on um, the world like on a global planet we have here the moon um, which is a sense of like lack of clarity um, more feminine energy actually I feel like this is a sense of um, maybe self-doubt, like helping people to kind of um, 
recognize when their emotions or subconscious mind uh, are, are taking over and kind of recognizing that there are multiple aspects of a person. Uh, in the traditional moon card, there is like a wolf and a dog, one to show more of the uh, animal nature of humans and then the other to be like the more domesticated aspect of humans. And so I feel like this concept of the moon, which is like the subconscious, I, I believe in Scientology, they have this concept as well, like of subconscious mind and kind of um, delving into it, seeing what's there um, and kind of bringing in certain knowledge um, uh, tools, technology from Scientology beliefs to kind of um, shine a light on what's there. So I'm going to clarify that. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, so <laughs> this is a lot of, uh, aside from what's going on with what he is doing here and what he's meant to like master uh, in this lifetime, kind of with this uh, concept of family and uh, stability in the home. It's, he's got all these major ar arcana cards. So it seems like in terms of him aligning with his higher purpose, he's pretty much open to those experiences. And with this will of fortune in the moon, like what he hears like to offer the planet, it's a sense of, um, I wanna say to a certain degree that it has to do with like karma reincarnation um and really i don't know too much about scientology but it could be that concept of like being in touch with your uh subconscious mind or like put shining a light on on the more uh programmed animalistic aspects of the self might help to kind of change things when it comes to um, future, future lives, future in general. So before I get into um, a layout for Tom's in general, like what's going on for him in career or love, I'm going to take two cards. These two, I guess, want to come out to see which archetypes or characters are most impactful for Tom's journey. We have here networker, light attributes, it says, enhances unity through the sharing of information and gender social awareness and empathy. Shadow attributes conveys information only for personal gain, spreads fear or and falsehood. So I feel like this networker thing, um, kind of uh, the concept of his community being Scientology, to me, the, and sharing the information or spreading word about how Scientology can change someone's life. I feel like that's a key here. And then we have hedonist. Light attributes inspire creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrate beauty in yourself. Shadow attributes pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. So here it's... Um, kind of the concept of living a good life, um, you know, manifesting like the world that he lives in and then kind of the shadow aspect of, you know, has, is the world that he created um, possibly making it so, you know, he can't really um, be successful so far when it comes to love and, um, you know, a, a stable stable home. So I'm going to move this down here. And now we are going to explore Tom's yet to be revealed story. So I'm going to do like a horseshoe spread for career and love. I'm going to start with career first and then fill in the love. Okay, so for past career, we have Ace of Swords. Present career, we have King of Wands. Future for his career, we have Four of Cups. 
terms of current attitude, we have judgment card. In terms of Tom's environment, eight of wands. In terms of his hopes and fears, we have the empress card. And outcome when it comes to career, by the pentacles. Interesting. Okay, so when it comes to past in love, we have 10 of cups. Present, when it comes to his love life, we have the chariot. Future, when it comes to his love life, the hanged man. And here, I'm going to jump all the way to the outcome when it comes to love. We have the magician. Let's see the influencing energy for this spread. We have this five of wands, kind of conflict, and ten of swords hitting rock bottom. Okay, so um, I would say the ten of swords is definitely a concept of um, stop, <laughs> um, stop and a fall, um, anguish. So here it seems like in the past when it comes to his career we've got this sense of clarity and taking action and um a sense of like making things happen um and in the past when it comes to his love life we've got the ten of cups we have this family so it seems like at some point in time there's happiness in his uh when it comes to marriage his three three marriages and even with his his kids maybe his uh surrey maybe his adopted kids but it seems like in the past um there there was a sense of happiness when it comes to his career in the present we have king of the wands so i'm feeling like on top of the world making things happen um kind of these cards so far at the top aren't really indicating what's you know something now happening but in the future we've got this four of cups so it's a sense of being unfulfilled not really aware of what's going on um not really wanting to accept what's being offered or noticing what's being offered so here it, that could be like part of that fall and surrender and anguish when it comes to Tom's love life, we have here the chariot in the present position. So it's a scene, it seems like there is um, an intention to kind of, you know, make something happen. But in the future, you have the hanged man, which is also the concept of uh, surrendering, not struggling against what is um like yeah like no longer needing to struggle against something and just accept what is uh, and here in this position getting like a new perspective of things possibly get a new perspective of you know really what he's prioritizing possibly prioritizing a career with his ace of swords king of wands over happiness of family which it seems is part of his past so here in terms of current attitude, we have the judgment card. So this is about honest reflection about your past, the decisions that you've made in your past, your choices, and kind of a sense of rebirth, um, a sense of kind of accepting what you've done and how you got to where you are. So. In terms of his environment, we have the Ace of Wands. So it seems like things are still moving, you know, quickly around him. Uh, so it may be this, you know, stop the fall, the anguish is something that he has to voluntarily do because there's always um, some meeting that needs to take place or some um, phone call that needs to happen, some work that needs to happen. So his environment is still like moving forward and you know for him he might need to he might be just like wanting to slow things down and like um reassess where things are going 
And in terms of hopes and fears, you have this Empress card. This is a card of um, a mother card, um, a card of abundance, creativity. Um, it's also a card of like pampering yourself. But I feel like this, the hopes and fears when it comes to um, Tom, it's almost a, a sense of like, wanting to have that connection but fearing like that's really not going to happen when it comes to his career it's interesting outcome we have the five of pentacles so it could be that um a movie that he makes that he spent a lot of maybe his own money in uh doesn't do well like loses money on that um or just like really isn't interested necessarily in um, doing the same things. Or if, if he is, you know, if this is an actual physical injury, then it's kind of focusing on the fact that he's not like, he's unable to, um, what's it called? Bring in the money that he did before. Some kind of fall, something taking place, either an emotional fall, a... Um, physical fall or a um a fall in his celebrity status and in terms of his love life though we have the outcome being the magician so it could be that the things that he's learned that he's kind of um put into maybe his career manifesting um greatness when it comes to his career or his status in um, the Church of Scientology. It could be that he is going to be reassessing that or like using it in a way where he wants to have it change his his love life because I do think it's interesting in the past for when it comes to love, you've got Ten of Cups and then you have Major Arcana card Chariot, then you have Major Arcana card The Hangman. You got Major Arcana card here for his attitude, his environment, Eight of Wands, Major Arcana card for his hopes and failures. And then when it comes to his love life, you have another Major Arcana card. So I feel like what's happening is he's going this shift here, um, maybe to focus on his spiritual journey and what he is kind of not learned and trying to shift that energy to learning about what's what's happening um, with his cur current spiritual journey. And it seems like when it comes to, you know, everything else going for him, he's open to learning, but I think he's, he's gonna be open to learning um, about his love life and uh, romance, you know, soon enough. And it could be, uh, where you see like the four of cups and the five of pentacles, the four of cups for the future for his career and five of pentacles for the outcome. It could be that this uh, like judgment, his attitude, like changing and this new perspective with the hangman um, leading to this magician, that could be the gift, like, you know, this surrendering and, um, I'm noticing how these circles on the surrender card are stacked up kind of like with these these gifts here so thanks for watching this edition of tabloid tarot we'll see you next time take care